Okay, today we're going to talk about how to set some alternate text in a PDF. So here's my PDF document I have open. We're actually going to go up here to where it says tools. It's right underneath the smaller um, menu. So click on tools. Then we're going to scroll down and look for accessibility. You can either click on the little picture of the man or on the words, either one and it'll open it up. So this is our accessibility menu. You can see the name of it across the top here, and here's the different items that we can um, use in the accessibility tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the alternate text. So if I click on set alternate text, it tells me that it's gonna detect all figures in the document, and so I say, okay, and then it highlights an image and you're like, um, where's this image? So look, right here is where it is. So before you start doing this, the smart thing to do would be to make this 100%. So we're going to cancel this. We're going to make our document 100%. So that way, when it clicks on the image, we'll actually be able to tell what the image is. So again, we're going to go set alternate text. It says Adobe will detect all figures in the document. Okay. And then we have our little box where we put the alternate text in. So right now it's on the arrow, still kind of got a little off there, but so this is like a left arrow. So that's what you would just type on the alternate text, whatever is describing the object. Left arrow pointing. So I can either save and close it right now, or if I do that, then I have to start again set alternate text okay so it still came back where i had just typed this so it's got six images if we use this right arrow we can just click through them and see all the different shapes or images that are not it does not have alternate text and you Put all the information in there so see this one already has it so we didn't have to put anything in there um, this one is a red rectangle so that's all you would write so each one of them you just go through and put what it is click the next to the right go in a green circle And that's all of them. So we're going to save and close. So now all of our images have alternate text behind them. And that's all you need to do for that one.